Maybe you have heard about I have just come to UK here. I mean, UK, I was in Hong Kong. <laughs> I mean, I've just moved from Hong Kong to here. And I've moved here just about, just over a month. And I have been really busy to set up to settle here. And now I really want to make a video quick to, yeah, I have been away from YouTube for too long. One month is too long. So what can I do is really fast to make to release, which is talk about what I bring here. And I have done a what in my bag kind of video before, but this time it's a little bit different because, because I am moving, these are the essential, my really minimum gear to make YouTube video. Actually really minimum would be just a camera, but I have bring a little bit more. What did I bring? I still have other gear, which is shipping on the ship on the sea right now. It will be here a, a few months later probably. All those bigger gear, lighting and tripod and this and that. But yeah, this is a really minimum essential thing. Actually, there's quite a lot. There's still quite a lot, but let me show you how many of them. So first of all, let's talk about this. What I'm shooting with the camera that I'm shooting right now, which is the Panasonic S5. And then there is a roll link mic on top. Now, Panasonic S5, I think I have mentioned it before. I love it a lot, but I have I not I don't love it enough because of the AFC. The AF is just the I mean it's kind of long in the tooth right now that Panasonic AF is just not good enough. It's not just because it is using contrast detection, but because if I show you the camera I'm using before, which is a Panasonic, uh, not Panasonic, the Sony A7S II. This used contrast detection. This used contrast detection. This focus better than this. And this is like four or five years old already. I mean, yeah, Panasonic have the, the AI recognition because this what this do better than this is that when there's a people, when you are shooting a people right now, that I'm facing it. Now, especially in this pandemic, when I'm shooting outside with a mask, with a mask on my face, this can still focus on my face. This can still recognize a face with a mask. This can't. And this can only focus on my face when there's a face. If I turn around, this can still recognize my head. This cannot. So sometimes this will, the, the Sony will focus at the background and this will still focus on me. But whenever I use this to shoot something else, if I'm holding the Panasonic S5 to shoot a, something, a product, a bag or whatever, it just hit or miss. But with this, the Sony A7S II is so much more clever without any whatever AI deep learning technology. This just have better focusing algorithm. Up about the mic, I'm using the row link as I mentioned before. Actually, when I'm shooting outside, I would use this row wireless go to, which is newly announced, newly released. I have talked about this before in a video right up here at home and a lot of time at home I would use um, the road link. Um, it is a lot bigger than that so when outside I would love the smaller one but why I'm still using this at home because I want to make use of it and it uses AA battery so I would use rechargeable AA battery and then I think the rechargeable the built-in rechargeable you can't replace this so I think this will, I will use it a little bit less to have it survive longer, I guess. I hope so. And talking about audio recording, I am actually using another audio recorder here. This is a Zoom, um, what's it called? F1. <laughs> Zoom F1. Um, why I'm using a backup recording? Because why not? I mean, you guys keep talking about, oh, I want a camera with dual SD card. I can't work without a dual SD card slot in my camera. Yeah, backup recording in the camera. Have you thought about, I mean, a lot of people probably haven't thought about backup audio recording. 
be leader before until until you learn from mistake because that's one step I should video with Kai should about um, Super Bowl Pro. We talk about camera for over an hour, and then later I find out there's no audio in my video. So it's so embarrassing. I have to ask Kai to shoot that video again. Talk about the same thing all over again for an hour or two. That's really annoying and embarrassing. So after that, I decided I need to have backup audio. And it's very easy to do. This is um this is a really cheap one. Well, well it's relatively cheap. And let me stop that for a while because it's just this is just for backup. This is a modular design. So the recorder itself you usually use it with a laugh mic or you you can also plug your laugh mic into this output to a wireless transmitter and then to your camera. So you have a recording in your camera and then a backup recording here. And of course I'm using a modular mic on top. Put in a micro SD card, press record, put it down here and I always have a backup. So whenever anything, if there's anything happen to the audio in my video, I just bring out that micro SD card and find out the backup audio. It might not sound as good because this is really short distance to my love mic. So this will have better sound than that. That will get some echo. But then at least I got some audio to work with rather than just nothing. And now as you can see there are some quite some bags here. I mean when I'm <laughs> when I'm moving home it is still a lot, quite a lot of bags with me and um, let's start with this pelican pelican case this is great i bring this on the cabin luggage i mean this is my cabin luggage actually this is just one of them oh and i have this video i talk about this pelican case i bring i brought this to japan before and now i brought this to uk what does it have inside uh, somebody asked me why is it called Peli, not Pelican, because this is sent from Peli UK. In UK, uh, Pelican was registered by another company before they came to UK, so they have to change the name to Peli. So in UK, British call this Peli case rather than Pelican. So it's the same thing made in USA, it's just a name difference. Peli 1535, exactly the size that you can bring on with you to aircraft. So I've done that. I bring brought this with me onto the plane, up onto the overhead compartment. And let's look at this. This is this is what I also use it a lot in Hong Kong, even when I'm staying at home as well, because this is really it is really convenient because in at home, because in Hong Kong we don't have a massive home. Before I have this, I would have my gear, some, some of the gear in here, some of the over there. Every time I shoot, I would have to connect with my camera there, another other gear from there, connect it from all around my house, my home. So after I got this, I can put all my most used essential gear inside one case. So this become really convenient to just, I don't have to pack this before I leave Hong Kong because these are the most used essential gear. Now the space here is for the Panasonic S5 I'm using right now. This is the back for the mic, the roll length I'm using right now. And then the Panasonic is um, out of focus. Come on. Oh, this light, this is interesting. This is the spiffy Lumi light. This is the one that it just it wipe wipe around your neck, something like that. If you if you're old enough to remember, this used to be a a cool toy. Actually, thinking back, it's rather stupid toy. It just wipe around your waist or something like that, with not waist. But then this, I I thought this would be quite a silly product, but I turns out use it a lot. I mean, this is. This is simple, you adjust the light intensity, 
white balance and then I quite like that there is a um, shortcut here to change to daylight and it have other effects something like that but then the thing is it's pretty good for product I actually use it a lot in my video this is some example that I used it before and um, and then because it is long because, so in some situation you can have the light softer than uh, normal this kind of rectangular light I have this um, aperture set cam I have designed I have tried to design should I bring this I end up bringing this because it, this is just convenient it's not the it's not good quality and actually quite noisy in low light but if you if you're not shooting in low light this is convenient because mostly because this is this is great for long continuous shooting because I would plug in a Canon battery here and then plug in an AC adapter in here so this has dual power it just gives you a great peace of mind when you're shooting for a long time continuously so yeah so that's why I'm bringing it and it's cheap I mean it's just it's just great Atomus Ninja 5 is a recorder it's a display yeah is self-explanatory this is this is great this is the x right color checker passport for video i basically used it for white balance this is a great card for white balance white balance really essential for video shooting this is good for uh, manual focusing in the tiny screen in your camera and then over this side basically i just use this part this is for set the correct exposure when you're shooting video it's really shooting video is quite essential especially i would do a little bit of color correction uh, i basically just use the middle the 19 percent gray card here to set the exposure this part basically you can set this color with the vector scoop this is the skin color and you can have some software to color correct for you with this color checker thing but I don't really need this I basically just use this for exposure and then the gray card for color color balance I have a video talk about why I use fixed ND filter rather than variable ND fader so this is the SLR Magic ND filter I use, I usually use uh, 3 stops and 6 stops and why do I use SLR Magic fixed ND filter it's not because they are better it's just because they send it to me for free yeah I'm totally honest with you because they send these to me for free that's why I'm using them but then also why I am still using them because I can't find any problem with them they are, they are great they are I, can't, I don't see any color cards I don't see much uh, flaring at all they are actually quite good so yeah I mean you can check them out is it the best in the market? I don't know I haven't really compared any of them to any other brand but these are, these are great and then this is ro rotor light rotor light rotor light and um, they also send this to me for free <laughs> that's why I'm using them but also because yeah they're, they're, they're quite good I mean this is pretty simple to use you turn it on this is a um, really big letters I mean digits on here this is intensity color temperature and it uses 6 AA battery and you also can use it with an AC adapter because they sponsored my last photo cleaner trip I think it was photo cleaner trip and I've been using them it's great I mean it's a little bigger than this kind of I have this Aperture Light MC Aperture MC this is RGB light so this is good for effect but anyway but then this is not powerful enough for most things this is great for uh, secondary light so last two videos the wireless go review and then the video that I talked about I moving from Hong Kong to UK both of them I used this when I was shooting in the hotel room so this is the right 
size to carry with you as a kind of a backup it can't really use it kind of struggle as the main light but it is good for soften up a shadow that kind of thing yeah and then here i've got other my actually one just one more mic this is the Rode video mic ntg i mean this is a great shotgun mic oh now let me talk about my feeling handbags again no oh. but it, it really worth talk about it again while well, i have other video talk about building handbags but they're great i'm still using them a few of them actually and uh because I think I've shown you before, they are weatherproof. They are really great at rain proofing. The proofing is inside the fabric, inside the sandwich of fabric. It's, there are three layers, the inside, outside, and then the middle one is the rainproof layer. So that's why they don't wear out at all. But then these three are the Headley series, the Headley Small Pro. This is a Headley Pro 2020, and then this is a Headley one. This is the biggest one, and this is the most useful one. I have the old Headley Pro. Actually, I have shipped the Headley Pro to UK. Not arrived yet, but I have this new Headley Pro 2020, which is along with this in 2019. Interesting. This is the most useful size for a lot of things, actually most shooting i would use this bag this is enough for most shooting and uh, and almost i almost always use this even for not shooting for everyday use but then if i have less stuff to carry i would use this but i never use this on the shooting because shooting video uh, this is not really enough for shooting video because shooting video you got a camera you got mic you got something else so yeah this is good for photography I think this is good for photography but then not for uh, obviously not a serious shoot pretty serious um, professional shoot but good for casual shooting and every day and here this is the, the biggest the Hadley one I will use this when I have more stuff to carry. Actually, these bags are add-on. These are two add-on bags. You can even put this on that, but it would look a little bit um, silly because this is, this is too big. But then there are, there's a smaller one that you can put on both sides or either side. But I can show you, you can easily take this off. It's better with both hands, but then yeah, you can totally remove this. This is use the same material, same rainproof material. Now honestly, I haven't used this enough in heavy rain to tell you, oh, this is, this is also great in heavy rain. But I, I suppose so. I mean, honestly, for now, I won't put really important thing into this uh, add-on bag yet. I will tell you later in a couple of years and report back if this is still as rainproof as the bag itself well by the way if you've seen my video last time last time i was in an airbnb did i mention that i can't really remember but last time i was in an airbnb now i'm still renting this is a place that i rent for for now so this this place is still just temporary so this working space is still really temporary so for now, I'm using a laptop for, for editing. In Hong Kong, at home, I used to use a 27-inch iMac, which is the iMac is still on the way shipping to here as well. So, and yeah, I'm still recording with the Zoom recorder. Um, Swiss Army Life, this is really... I think most photographer, videographer have some kind of multi-function tool. Uh, this is really in essential when I'm still on the move as well. Multi phone because <laughs> I still have Hong Kong number on these phones and yeah, this is still, I haven't really set this up. I mean, you can see that's the new, I just bought this uh, extension, which I haven't set up those hard drive because I haven't 
actually edit a video yet. Uh, there are two. This is the main editing hard drive. This is actually just Thunderbolt 2, quite old hard drive. But then before I come to here, I actually change the hard drive inside because the original hard drive is already so old, it's slower than it should be. So I change a hard drive inside myself so I don't have to buy a whole new hard drive. I quite I quite proud of that. And um, these two, one of these, one of it is for backup, one of them is to just extend the storage. And then I have this anchor. I think I mentioned this before as well. This is um this has four normal USB and then one USB C and this is enough to power and charge my MacBook 13 inch. I know a lot of people would get this kind of extension lead with USB on them, but they usually give you bad quality USB AC adapter when those given up and you got an extension cord with USB that doesn't work and you can't replace them. So I always think this is a better solution, get one of these. Usually much more durable, but also when if they actually broken up, broken up, I mean give up or broken, give up the ghost, die, then you can just replace this. And this you can just, if you travel a lot, you can just replace this, you, you can just change this with the plug that's go, good for the travel, the country you travel to, and you don't need any travel adapter at all, you just change this and good to go. But talking about travel, this time I actually have an, another cabin, cabin carry on luggage, cause I'm with my wife, so we can take two carry on luggage. This is another carry on luggage which was hugely overloaded because before that these hard drive were all inside here and this is just full of hard drive. These are the hard drive that's from my NAS at home, another some other extension hard drives, some bigger ones, some smaller ones and this is you can't believe when I come from Hong Kong to here this is actually heavier than my pelican case, than my fully loaded pelican case. <laughs> this is much heavier. And when I transit in Switzerland, the security took, took out all my hard drive, let them go through x-ray and after that I'm doing a kind of Tetris in, at, the, at the airport putting all this hard drive back in there before my plane go off. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I don't have time to film that, but it, that, that was just hilarious. I mean, it wasn't hilarious at that time. It's, hilar it, it, it's hilarious now. <laughs> That's all for this video. I hope this is kind of useful for you, or you may think, oh, what, what does it do with me? What lock take with him for shooting video? Well, I, I hope this is useful. This is a what I think is essential, actually it's not the bare minimum because the bare minimum to shoot YouTube video is a camera and a mic, maybe not a mic, uh, actually a mic is essential, but yeah, the bare minimum, bare minimum is the camera is a mic with a mic, but then when I can take a little bit more with me on the plane with me, this is what I brought with me on the plane and I would, I have all other gear that ship to me still in the sea but yeah this is what I think is what I can bring on the plane and yeah that's it see you next time bye